What's up, beat culture? My name is Ella. Let's let's just dive straight in. So right in front of us, we have session percussionist. This is the first look at this. I have not studied it as I should. So forgive me if I hit the wrong buttons, but that's what we all do. We we dive in and we just see what it does and whatever inspires us to do something, we go with that. And that's the whole concept of this plugin. So real quick, I just want to say that this might be my new favorite plugin in terms of percussion sounds. Percussion sounds just make track sounds a whole lot better. And the way that this thing is engineered and designed is really great. There is full customization here. You got a million, not a million, I'm, I'm exaggerating, of course, but there is a bunch of presets. Things are labeled and broken down by categories and genres that we are familiar with. And that's just to get started. But that's just, you know, once you pick a pattern, you can go in and adjust it the way you want it. So just real quick, um, if I come out of this. By the way, we're in Studio One. All right, so if you pay attention real quick before we go deep, you can see down below that there's different sections where the keyboard is and everything is by color, right? That's just the viewpoint. By the way, Contact 7 has the design change. It, wow, it's amazing. <laughs> Let's just look at that real quick. There, there's a section down here that tells you you know, hey, you might want to grab this one. And when you click any of these icons at the bottom, it takes you to the web and you can make a purchase. If you don't want this distracting you, you can always minimize that like that. If you want it back, there's an arrow button here at the bottom. All right. So basically, let's just minimize that. Contact 7 has, I want to say, fully redesigned because there was a, a section in here still that mimics the old design, but uh, they they doing their thing over there at Native Instruments. Big ups to them. All right, so I do want to get rid of the keyboard for now, or maybe I should put it back. I don't know. But if we come back here, we can see that the keyboard section is gone. But I guess for the sake of the video, show you guys what I'm doing. I have a camera angle here at the bottom to the best as I could to show you guys what's going on. I don't have the camera showing the whole deal, but I believe this section right here in the middle is most important. You can see that there's one screen here and all of the knobs beneath it. And keep in mind also that this plugin actually talks best to the latest update of Contact 7. Right in front of me, this keyboard is the Mark III version. So that is the other thing. I have not tested this to see if this will work on the Mark II versions, but everything, as you can see, is moving forward to that NKS 2.0. I've been telling y'all about that, right? So here we go. So right at the top, this articulation filter is pretty much like your your high pass and low pass filter, but not in a sense as a normal filter. This actually get rid of, you know, the kick or the hi hat or shakers. You have to move this in increments. Right. So as I move this, normally what a filter does, it just filters the high end, but this one is not designed like that. This is just say, hey, you know, if I keep moving this, I can just pick what I want in this section, so to speak, right? That's how that works. All right. So there is like, I've noticed that there is like five layers, four or five layers for the most part. 
so if I can get out of this section to go back to where I want it to be. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five different sections. Right now for this preset, there's only three, but you can add one, right? So if we play that, we can also add a cap bell to that. You know what I'm saying? If I want to add that to it, if we, you know, so now we have all five, all five sections. Oh, maybe I should have. Okay, you got to hit the check mark. Okay. <laughs> so with, there's two shakers, actually. I can go back and change that. Or oh, I can hit this arrow button right here. No, the arrow is changing the preset. Let's check that. You know what I'm saying? See, see how well that, that's pieced together? Say I want a triangle in there. Why not? Let me open this all the way up. Make sure. Uh, now these two down here, your pitch bin and your modeler wheel, you can't see that in the camera, but is doing something. Some of the patterns it is it, more effective. So I'm changing my pitch band. I'm going all the way up, upward. That affects the impact of it. So that's the high, high impact. Bring it down. There you go. You can also swing it. And you can shift things I'm going to change the, the BPM let's say 90 alright so because we're in contact 7 you guys know you can add more instruments so that is what I'm going to do I'm going to go to an empty layer then I'm going to go to back to my browser. So just something just to hold us there. And I'm going to come back and grab another one. And go for another instrument in contact. Let's go with this Empire joint right here. I'm going to double click that. Seems like a pattern is playing. Oh, yeah. Definitely got to come in here and change this to three. Duh. All right.
Alright, I like that. I could deal with that. To the percussion is now we can focus so now we have something to work with let's open this up a little bit more Okay, let's go with John. So this will be like. Mm. Mm, maybe, maybe like a reggaeton type of. Uh, let's see what happens. So if I go to the mixer Left, right Make it sound far Make it close The mixer also mixes Follow it. Change the, the timing. There's also compression here. That's cool. is the pattern so I can preview say I want that I could just drag it up
Now with this other one here, I'm gonna octave up. And get that C1. So I can record my own in there. So So if I hit this record button, it'll let me record. Mm. I just want that section. Then I could change the So depending on the note, I'm noticing that there's different options. Like this one is just that. And this one has. Yeah. So let's go to the velocity now this one I thought was cool so there's a lot of customization here I can also select like this I can do like all of the ones where I could do all of the you know you know several at one time and then it'll let me play with those by itself which is cool I could say give me that give me that oh wait a second Give me that one. Give me this one. Oh, check that out. So, okay. So if I just only want this section, shift, and then I'm hitting option outside of it. That's what I'm noticing. Option or control, depending on what system you want. I'm on the Mac. And then I can just make it. So this is the timing. You can also take sections from one section and just drop here. That sounds a whole lot better. So I took this pattern and dropped it over here. So it took that pattern. Let me see. I think that's 
how it goes. Well, at least that's, that's what I thought it was doing. <laughs> Oh, there we go. There we go. You can hear. I can't hear it now. Ah, oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. And then you can do stuff like that. So these are like tools, and it just resets. Check that out. <laughs> this is why this thing is so dope to me. Okay, what about this? Let's change some stuff on this one. I don't know about y'all. Let me see. That's the flames right there. Let's see. And then, you know, you can always change stuff around. So you could record stuff. You can take a pattern, make some changes. You know what I'm saying? Do whatever you need to. And then you have this section too. You know, speed stuff up, slow it down. So you have that option as well on top of everything. You remember these? If you just want to quickly get rid of the top end or the low end, you can do it just like this. You know what I mean? Let's see, what is this thing really doing? Let's see. something else I just did that all backwards. Like, what are you, what is you doing, bro?
Let's do that. I just felt like I need to add another instrument now, guys. Look, you see how we doing things over here? That's 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 how it's done. It's it's just like that video I showed y'all. Or the video I recently uploaded. Like I use native instruments. This stuff sounds amazing. There's nothing cheap sounding about it. It's very useful. This is the vibes. So we're gonna go to a new one. We're gonna create this. Oh, before we do that, in contact and um on the keyboard, should I say I could just toggle back over to the instrument and here's this edit button. And I can do my adjustments to those, what's this? I guess it's four different sections in here. So, for instance. Oh. Can't forget to do that. Right. So, say I need more the I think that's a conga I can do my mixing from from here you know what I mean like real quick boom just go right in there make it wider change the the room set, uh, setting let's bring that down a little bit So. I, I didn't realize there was chimes in there let's change that back over so the the whole concept of having the keyboard is you know
my one day recording. Okay, now we gotta fix the MIDI. Let's delete that. to join me on the live streams. look and I just couldn't help myself.
You know what I mean? And then because of the routing capabilities, now that's something I have not explored yet, but um, I know that you can route these out separately. I'm going to attempt to do that now. So, and I would guess that that would be in the mixer area. Oh, by the way, when you hit that link button, you can adjust everything at once. If I want more cowbell, I think it just depends on what's going on. That's kind of cool. This is a dedicated. See, they thinking about musicians. They know that that's a button we want to press. You know you want to press that button. <laughs> okay. Now, the part I need to figure out is how to route all of those instruments there is a lot of control and customization in here it's not just patterns thrown at us to play with it's actually manipulating the patterns and customizing everything to, to our liking um i still haven't figured out this mixing thing yet you know what i just figured it out i think just click this bottom button right here and you can route things okay so everything is at main say i want that to be out one oh and then the room might come out of main huh no i want the room of that to come out of one we can go two for this one so you can choose where the room mics This is four. Check that out. Let's see what happens. Oh, there we go. Look at that. So that's three. Where's the other one? But you know what? I didn't. I didn't even have to mess with the the outputs. I don't think, unless I had to. Oh yeah, I did. I had to open up the outputs, but it's not. Yes, it is. Okay, it is. So your outputs has to be set up as well. So it is coming out. I have my output set up all automatically. Like it's contact is set up where it just it's like this all the time. That's how I set it up. So whatever I route through individual outs, it's just going to automatically do it because I'm always doing this. That is dope. Now. It should be four. See, it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three. I'm only I'm only seeing three. And this is one. Oh, okay. Okay. I get it now. Why well, I keep doing it? Everything else is coming out of Everything else is coming out of stereo That's what it is That's what it is So So what if I did this Three And then this one come out of four This come out of five 
but now we should see there we go there we go it's coming out of all the five and then you can go in and label them accordingly now this is just a routing portion these has nothing to do with the routing these are just MIDI cool I like it this is really cool check that out if I want these to come out of something different I can do that say like okay we got the first five for the drums or the percussion and I want this to come out of six and then I want this to come out of seven let's see how that goes of course I got to open these up see how that works Six. I can see six. Oh, I'll label it differently. Let me I'll activate the eighth one just in case. Let's see. So the bass is coming out of one. Of one. You know? So, I just wanted to do a... Well, I will say quick. But we're prob we're already in like... An hour. <laughs> hour showing you guys how this goes. So, this is my first look of... These drums... The, the percussionist, the session percussionist, and I put a track or two tracks for you guys within the hour showing you guys how you can use this. And I went ahead and show you guys how to route things. Now, I'm in Studio One, but you obviously have to do things according to the doll that you're using, and that's how you get your outputs. But it is one of the reasons why I like using Studio One for stuff like this because of the outputs. It's so simple. I love it. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And because I am a affiliate person, there is a link for you guys. It's an affiliate link. I get a small kickback from telling you guys about this. But um, purchase if you find value. If not, keep it moving. Simple as that, you know. I like it. It's my new fave. I will be using this quite a bit for some stuff. Changing some things around. You can obviously save your own presets in here as well. I'm, I've am i seen something around here that allows you to do that. And then, of course, you have these other options. Inside of contact, it's always options to save stuff. So, when you switch back here, boom, you can just... You know, save presets and, you know, just do what you do, you know. Simple as that, guys. I don't know if it'll pop up here, but you can save presets. I don't know if I wanted to do that, but. Hmm. That sounds cool. Hey. Hmm. 
That's cool. I like that. So this right here is a is a perfect situation where you would take this articulation filter because y'all already have a kick in here. But if I didn't have drums with a kick in it, I can just use what they give me. You know what I mean? All right, I'm done. I I will be on here forever, um, doing stuff coming up, <laughs> coming up with stuff. So, yeah, you guys hit that link in the description area. Remember, guys, lifestyle covered by art, be culture.